the prosecutors who were dishonest and lacked integrity. Morning. Justice Ivan Mohoro has made several damning findings against advocates Nomtobo Jiba and Lawrence Mkhwebi. They include that Jiba compromised the independence of the NPA, compromised her integrity, damaged public confidence in the NPA, brought the NPA into disrepute, and showed irreverence towards the courts. Regarding Mkhwebi, Mohoro found he acted contrary to the provisions in the NPA Act, was dishonest under oath, lacked understanding of the law and legal process, that withdrawing the Mzuli charges was irrational and unlawful and had no respect for court processes. At the inquiry, a tearful Jiba told Mohoro she felt betrayed by her colleagues and insisted she never took any dubious decisions. As I recently found out, when evidence was being led at the inquiry, I was shocked to learn that people who I considered colleagues and committed patriots felt that I was not qualified to lead the NPA. Mkhwebi, meanwhile, said the inquiry was unfair and felt like a targeted attack. To be honest, I find this process extremely unfair. Freedom Under Law says the report and its findings bode well for restoring the integrity of the NPA. I hope that it, it puts the National Prosecuting Authority on a much stronger footing to, to be able to, you know, rebuild conf uh, the public's confidence, allow for a, a return, a restoration of, of integrity um, and, and trust on the part of the public. The Council for the Advancement of South African Constitution says the report reveals much more needs to be done to clean up the NPA. And uh, that's part of the big job that uh, Advocates for Care has in front of her is to weed out those other people. And, you know, they, they exist not just with the National Office in Victoria, but across uh, NPA structures in each of the provinces. And this is going to take a, uh, quite some time in order to, to turn that around. So, you know, this is a start, but it's certainly not the end of the, the clean-up operation. President Cyril Ramaphosa also received representations from both Jiba and Mkhwebi in response to the report. But were these scathing findings the final nails in their coffins? Govan Whittles, Johannesburg.